Oh, what's up, buddy? My name is Vanaman, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby Battle Spot Series. Ah, okay, so I'm changing some things around the format, more or less. I used uh, I in the previous episode, you see me guys. Do you see me do about two battles per episode? Uh, and it was like that for the last, like I said, five episodes. Uh, but we're gonna change the things around to make it a little more friendly for myself and for you guys as well. Um, just you know, so it's easier for me to record these and get them up to you guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing only one battle per episode, but because I'm only doing one battle, I'm going to upload more battle spots every week. So rather than getting your one or two episodes of battle spot, uh, my battle, battle spot series, you're going to be getting like four or five. I'm going to aim for five. That's the goal right now. Aim for five. So one every day that I don't have a second upload. So, uh, the, so the days I don't have a second upload is Sundays and Wednesdays. Well, Wednesday I have a second upload, but it's for something else. It's for Would You Rather, which is serious. It's just started up again, so you guys should check it out. But anyways, so by me doing this, by me, me doing, only doing one battle per episode, you'll be getting an episode every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's the theory behind it. Uh, so with, with that out of the way, all said and done. Our record right now is 3 and 5, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. But regardless, the record is on the right side of your screen there, right above the playlist and subscribe buttons. But anyways, anyways, our team for today is Arcanine, holding the life orb. Uh my little take holding the leftovers. And newest member to the uh to my competitive team is this uh Jolly Oh my god, Mold Breaker, nailed it. Uh Excadrill, I'm not like stumbling on his fucking name right now. Right now he's holding the Focus Dash. Normally I would give him the Life Orb, but you know, in Battle Spot you only have a limit of one item. You can't have duplicate items. So I gave him the Focus Dash in hopes of uh, being able to come in on the hit and then outspeeding and destroying things. Uh, that's the idea behind it. I don't know. Just, I have nothing better. I could choice Bandib. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Ah, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I could choice ban him. Um... But I feel like you'd be better off without being banded. It's the same concept with Arcanine. I feel like Arcanine would be a lot better if I didn't band him. That's why. Like, I could ban Arcanine and give what's his name Excadrill the Life Orb, but I chose not to. I feel like Arcanine is better off without being limited to one move per, you know, per switch in, whatever. That, and he has a priority move. So, uh, priority moves are usually used to, to kill. And I, in, in other words, I'd have to use it to revenge kill, and then I would have to swap out. Uh, so anyways, uh, I don't feel like it's very good that choice ban him. But moving on, we have my choice scarf, Rotom Meu, uh, with a trick. So we're going to do the little trick uh, trick people to having the choice scarf and then taking something of theirs, like leftovers, or if it's a, you know, a Porygon 2, I could take a Zevia Light, so on and so forth. Then we have Mega Pidgeot, great, great member of the team. And let's see if he can uh, prove us, uh, prove to us again that he is amazing. And of course we have Exploit who still needs to prove that he's amazing, or in this case she's amazing. So without further ado, let's find ourselves a battle, a battle, a battle, a battle, and uh, hopefully we can kick some butt and take some names, maybe get a win in this episode. I really hope we do. I really hope we do. It would really suck to uh, start off the new format of the series with a loss, but we'll play by ear. We're facing someone from Japan who has a Gastrodon, Noivern. Breloom, Excadrill, Mawile, and Vol... Vol... Crap. Why do I forget your name? It's on the tip of my tongue. Tip of my tongue. Vol something. I keep wanting to say Volcanion. I don't fucking know, but... <laughs> what the hell? That's gonna, be, that's gonna bug me. There's Larvest... Larvesta evolves in... Oh, fuck. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I know it's typing. It's Bugfire. So... Uh, I feel like Rotom, I need Rotom for the Gastro. I have nothing for the Gastro if I don't bring the Gastro. Or if I don't bring the Rotom. What else can Rotom do though? Uh, huh. Is there any setup sweepers? Potentially the extra drill uh, and the, whatchamacallit there. That, uh, fuck. The, the, the bug, fuck, you know, they fall for uh, uh, Larvesta. <laughs> Why do, am I struggling with his name? I can't think of it. Um, Ice Beam would be nice for, what, two of his Pokemon? Three of his Pokemon? Hmm. Fire, help with Breloom and Mawile. 
Pidgeot. Pidgeot can help with one, two of his Pokemon. Maybe three. I can't remember if Gastro is specially or physically defensive. Exploud can help with actually a good majority of his team. Because he has a, a nice variety. But he has choice specs. So um, we need to choose here. We need to choose. So uh, what are the biggest threats? Escadrill, Noivern, Gastro. They're all threats. Fuck. <laughs> Let's leave it with Rotom. I think that's a good choice. Uh, and then we go... Mylautic? Well, we need Arcanine, that's for sure. Let's bring Arcanine. I got 10 fucking seconds. Um, Milotic, we'll bring Milotic. Milotic can help with the extra drill and the. Uh... Ooh, listen to this music. Mm. Mm. And the Noivern. So hopefully I made the right decision here. Uh, I hate bringing Pokemon like just because of one Pokemon because I'm scared of it. Gastro is one of them that I'm kind of scared of. I feel like. I was going to say, I feel like Noivern is his lead, though. Which So we don't have a good choice, and we don't have a bad choice. No, we have a bad choice. So he knows I'm Choice Scarf. He's probably Choice Scarf as well. So... Swapping him, or tricking him, is going to be pointless. My best bet is probably Milotic, right? I could Volt Switch, but I think I'm pretty sure he outspeeds me. So I'm going to go into Milotic. Because I know Noivern are very fast, and I don't want—I don't—I do not want him to take a hit, especially if an air slash is coming my way. Oh, he's gonna withdraw. Okay, maybe he predicted that. I don't know. Would a Volt Switch have been useful? No, it would not have. So I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam here. I'm going for the Ice Beam, um, just in case, just in case he swaps out into uh, Noivern here. Because the Scald is pretty obvious. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam in case he swaps back around the Noivern. I don't think he will. I think he'll switch to his third Pokemon. But we'll see here. We'll go for the Ice Beam. It, I think it's still super effective. Or does I or does still resist Ice? Regardless, it'll be neutral damage. I could also Dragon Tail him out. We know he's faster than me though. We have to keep that in mind. So it, it's neutral. I should have just went for the fucking Scald. Uh, which, and since he's Swords Dance and he stayed in like that... Probably means that he is uh, a physical attacker. Or a what? A physical attacker. That he's focus sash is what I was trying to say. Uh, I think my best bet is just go for Skull. Uh, I, I was just saying I should go out into uh, Rotom predicting this earthquake here, but I don't think it really mattered because uh, of the Mold Breaker. So. Uh, regardless, so we got one Pokemon down. We still have recovery on this guy, though. We still have recovery. That's good. That's good, because we can recover as long as we are able to outspeed or take the hit. So, are we going to see who his third Pokemon is? No, we're not. So, we know this guy's going to be faster. He's going to be way faster than me. I think my best bet right now is just to go for the recover. Huh. The Draco Meteor's coming. Uh, whether or not we can take that Draco Meteor is beyond me. I doubt we can. Oh, that sucks. Because that was our only hope for this guy. I mean, if I brought Exploud, no, nah, even if I brought Ex Exploud, nothing would have happened. <laughs> um, so it's either Arcanine or Rotom. Uh, not looking really good for me at all. Uh, I can go for... Uh, so I guess we're about to see if if if, if this guy is uh, is choice or not. Because if he's choice, he'll go for Drake or Meteor again. If he's not choice, then he will go for uh, Air Slash or whatever his flying type move is. A Hurricane. I think it's Hurricane. So we're about to see here. Don't make me regret this decision. Okay, so he is going to swap, which means out comes his third Pokemon that we have not seen yet. And it's the Mawile, which is not bad. It's not bad because we do have the Arcanine. Like I said, not bad. We do have the Arcanine, which means... This is, wow, that did a lot of fucking damage. Holy shit. Um, so do we outspeed here? I think we might. I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt again. I'm going for the Thunderbolt again. I don't know why he's so scared of his Noivern taking a Thunderbolt. Well, I guess it'll be neutral damage, right? So that would do a lot of damage to his Noivern. I think his Noivern is, like, really his only hope. Uh, do we outspeed? We, well, we probably do, but he went for the Sucker Punch. The Sucker Punch is going to do a significant amount of damage. Not enough to one-hit KO, and we're going to get this off on him. But the problem is now is this, uh, 
is this Neuvern because I don't think we outspeed. We might, we might outspeed if this thing is not Choice Scarf. Uh, I don't know what he is. Uh, I haven't seen, how is he? Yeah, I've seen attack from him and he didn't lose health, so he's not Life Orb. Uh, my guess is he Choice Scarf or Choice Spec. That is my guess. He could be bluffing a, an expert belt, but uh, but I have no choice but to go for Thunderbolt. I can't really go for a switch here, but I do outspeed, which means he's not Scarf. But that does a, a lot of fucking damage, my lord. Uh, but I do believe, I do believe that he is going to outspeed my Arcanine. Now, what can Arcanine do here? I guess I have to Wild Charge, right? Wild Charge is the only thing that's neutral because Close Combat is resisted. Fire or er, Flare Blitz is resisted. Extreme Speed. I don't think I'm at in the range here to to kill with Extreme Speed, am I? I need to calc this real quick. I need to calc this real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, it's not often I do calcs, but I feel like I need to calc this. Um, Arcanine. UU Offensive versus... Oh, wait. I got 35 seconds. Neuvern. I'm guessing he's not spec, so and he's not Life Orb, so I don't know what he is. Uh, so Draco Meteor will kill me. Uh, hmm. But will extreme speed kill him though? That's what I need to know. Extreme speed 51%. So yeah, yes, it will. Let's go for it. Can I do it? Can I do it? It's all about extreme speed. Is it enough? It's enough. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. somehow, somehow we won that battle. Not bad. Not fucking bad at all. Mm. That is, oh, I am pumped now. I am pumped. I'm liking the way this, this new format is starting. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, ooh. No, we don't need to say that. But guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit the like button for me. Show your support for the channel. As well as the series. It lets me know that you are enjoying the Battle Spot series. And you want to see more. You want it to keep going. Like I said, this series is now going to be one battle per episode. And hopefully we're going to have five battles a week. Rather than, you know... Uh, two battles an episode and having a total of two episodes a week or four battles total So you guys are getting a little bit more content So I hope you guys do enjoy that uh, and appreciate that and all that magical stuff and hopefully a luck will continue in the next episode So once again, thank you for watching and as always stay today yeah.